Hello folks and welcome back. I'm Rob Wilson. You're watching the Video Gadgets Journal and this is yet another video on the Samsung Galaxy. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's on screen recorders. So hello folks, an official welcome back to a lot of you who've had to endure the last two weeks of Samsung Galaxy S8 videos. As I said in my channel update, when the device was first released, I would be doing a lot of coverage on it, which I more or less have done now. So I'm going to get back to my regular content with some Samsung stuff in between as well. So what are we looking at today? Two updates to two screen recorders. And the first one is every card. It's been fixed. And when I mean fixed, it's been fixed. The first thing to mention is that every card is still available on Tutu. So if you want to know how to download it from that source, check out the video that's on screen now. And once you have downloaded it, if you want to go into the every card application and check the version number, what you want to be on is version 1.1.3. And that will enable you to screen record because if you remember rightly last time, what happened was that when you started a screen recording, it didn't actually bring up the AirPlay server and nothing happened. Well, that's changed. It does now work. So what I'm going to do here with the default settings which are actual size resolution and 30 frames a second is start a screen recording. Simply type in a name for your recording. Once that's done it will ask you whether or not you want to start the recording and that should with any look automatically begin the recording. You don't have to bring up the AirPlay server or anything and you can see it in the top right the red recording bar. So I'll go and do a recording and then I'll show you what happens. The first thing that happens when you stop a recording is that every card re-encodes the video so it can be played back on an iOS device and that's certainly a good thing. Unfortunately however this is where the bugs start to kick in. The first thing I wanted to do with this recording is save it to the photo gallery. The first time I tried it simply failed. The second time it was successful but is that going to be a worry if you spend ages doing the screen recording and you can't get it off every record. A couple of times I have had every record crash out on me for random reasons which is never a good thing but that's not the worst of it. The recording you end up with for me is totally unusable. Once you've copied the video to your photo gallery, the good news is that you can scrub up and down the video, which means that playback is fine and you should be able to put it into a video editor and edit it as you please. However, there is a huge problem and it goes along the lines of this. Yeah, you completely confused as well. That's because the audio is miles ahead of the video, which is actually playing at half speed. To find out more about this, I checked the file properties and it recorded the video in 16 frames a second, despite every record telling us that it would be recording in 30 frames a second. Now I tested every record on both the iPhone 7 and the iPad Mini 4, two devices that should be easily able to cope with screen recordings, but not in this case. So we've got to a point where every record works, but it's still very unreliable. And now for an update on Coolpixel. It had the honour, I guess, of being on the App Store for a couple of months before being kicked off. And since then, it's been quite notorious to get hold of. But now Coolpixel is available on Tutu. And when I say it's available on Tutu, I mean it's available on Tutu. So yeah, it's taken a very long time for Coolpixel to find a new home once it was chucked off the App Store and it was astonishing that it managed to stay on there for so long, a good two or three months. But since then, the developer has been trying to get it to work by uh, getting people to download the application and then put in his Apple ID account, which was never ideal. So it is now freely available on Tutu. But when I say freely available, it still does have the massive restriction of being only available as a full application on the Pro version so the free version which you can download from Tutu you do record with a watermark you can only record for one minute and export for two minutes which seems a bit odd if you can only record for one minute I guess that's if you're going to splice videos together now I have reviewed cool pixel in the past and it's a sketchy video recorder it does have audio lag not quite as bad as every record uh, but it does have audio lag of about half a second to a second so basically neither application is working well at the moment air shows still the king now, I am in regular contact with Evercord. They are very keen to tell me that they are working on all these bugs. They post a lot of updates on their Twitter feed and they are very keen to tell me when new updates are to go and check them out. But as for now, Evercord is still not really fit for purpose as a screen recorder. If it fails once, then in my mind, it's just not reliable. And if you spend ages doing a screen recording and it falls over, then pff, you're stuck. 
As for CoolPixel, well, if they're going to continue to charge for an application that's never going to be available in the App Store, good luck, but I don't think you're going to get very far, especially when there are free and better alternatives available. If you've got any thoughts on this, do let me know in the comments. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the Video Gadget Channel for more content just like this. Yes, iOS screen recording content. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. Oh, air shows available on Android. Interesting.